Hey guys, and welcome back to Mill RC. Um, I haven't done a build update on this Cub for a while, so I'm going to go ahead and put another one out for you guys. So as you can see, it's been going along pretty well, at least in our book. Um, we, as you can see, we got both wings done here. Uh, basically, they're ready to cover, basically. Uh, we have the servos in, um, and we kind of did this neat little hidden aileron servo trick we're going to try out. Um, all that's going to be showing is the rod and the control horn. See right there is where the push rod comes out and servo horn. And uh, it seems to work pretty good. We have good travel and good en uh, uh, enough torque for the job. Because this is a Cub, we're not going to fly this 100 miles an hour. You know, so it's good. it works pretty good. So we're pretty happy with how that turned out. Um, as far as the other wing, this is the exact same, uh, ready to cover, aileron servos in, and ready to be installed, or ready to get plugged into the receiver whenever we put more electronics into it. And as you can see, we have wing struts on here as well, and we just got done uh, securing those. See the cap screws, there's one blind nut there, or we put the blind nuts in so the cap screws could thread the, so we could hold the wing struts on. And then we have them on the uh, bottom here too, as you can see right there. Um, so it's all done. And as you can see, it's on landing gear. We don't know if we're going to keep this landing gear because the bends are a little far out. Uh, especially on the rear here. And you can clearly see it. It doesn't bend down. Uh, it needs to be more right at the fuselage. And uh, so... We don't know if we're going to use that landing gear or not. We may just get some more wire and bend some new ones. We may keep it. We don't know yet, but uh, we'll probably figure something out later on during the build. Um, if you're wondering what the wires sticking out of the wing are, it's just to measure the washout um, because these wings are so <laughs> gigantically long that it's easy to get different amount of washout in them so we're trying to get it even or we're seeing if it's even if it's not we're gonna have to uh, get them even I guess we'll probably mess with the wing struts a little bit to do that um, as far and then we got the cowling fitting a lot better um, when we first glued it together it fit pretty terrible and uh, we got that fitting at least a lot nicer now and it holds on pretty good so we may think we're going to keep it we may get the fiberglass cow pretty soon but we'll just have to see and then the tail back here it's not glued in or anything it's just in there for looks or see how it fits and it fits pretty good so other than that uh for the fuselage we did seal the wood because this all needs to be painted yellow we sheeted this right here the door also needs to be sealed, I think, part of the door, because that needs to be yellow to make a good-looking cockpit. And as far as the wood in the box, it's just the tail. Uh, and then the wing strut supports is what we got to finish yet. But uh, other than that, it's getting there. It's pretty much ready to cover. Um, we don't know how much money as far as or cost as far as going super scale on this. Uh, I think we do want to put a nice cockpit kit in there and some dummy engine cylinders of the Continental engine the full scale Cub uses. Um, we'll probably do that at a minimum. And then as far as covering, right now Solar Tex has just gone out of business so it's really hard to find iron on fabric and I doubt we're going to go with the traditional dope and then paint the whole thing so right now it's looking like we're going to go with just regular like hair and iron, hair and iron ultra coat unless something else pops up and we get pre-colored iron on fabric somewhere i know bolsa usa sells the um what should we call it i forget what it's called or i think or or something like that although i haven't heard really good stuff about it and us personally we never cover with fabric and it's a lot more expensive than regular ultra co or regular covering so 
We're, we haven't given up on fabric yet, but it's not likely going to happen. It's most likely going to be a regular ultra coat. But uh, other than that, that's pretty much where this build is at. Uh, we probably could have got a lot further. We haven't been able to work on it. Uh, spring came a little early. I guess, well, not early, but we didn't get it in, done in time with our projected time that we thought we were going to get it done. But now with this uh, COVID-19 deal that we're all in, um, we should be able uh, it's actually pretty good time to uh, build kits like this. So hopefully we can get a lot more work done on it and uh, maybe get it flying. Um, power plants, if any of you are wondering, we're, prob we're planning on going gas. Uh, the model recommends like I think 120 four stroke was somewhere around there. So 20 cc gas engine. Um, because nitro is just too expensive for us nowadays. So it's probably going to be a single cylinder gas route. Um, and then that's all I can pretty much predict for power setup. But anyway, that's pretty much where this cub lies on, or where it's at right now. And uh, once we get more work on it, I'll continue to give more updates and uh, show you guys how the build's going. So anyway, um, if you. I have pretty much from the box when we started this uh, kit to now videos so if you're interested in the other videos you can just go check out my channel or the link in the description for those videos will be uh, in the description as well. So anyway, thank you guys for watching Mill RC and tune in next time.